part C. In order to get to this tangential velocity, we had to speed up the electron. In order to speed up the electron, we had to go put that electron through an electric potential difference. What electric potential difference did we have to put the electron through in order to get to this velocity? So we're looking for the electric potential difference we used to accelerate this electron to this velocity. Looking for any sort of general help here. Travis? Uh, we use our tangential uh, electric potential difference equals k times uh, charge over radius. We are not going to use this equation. Why not? What is this? Let's start with why we're not going to use this equation. Thank you. It's for a point charge. This is just for a point charge. We're accelerating a point charge through a potential difference. This is a potential difference created by the point charge. So it's a different thing. We're talking about the potential difference through which it is going. Janine? Should we start by saying um, potential difference equals potential difference finalized? Ah, uh, unfortunately, um, no. It's OK. Matt? Is it um, potential difference equals change in potential electric energy over charge, I believe? We have an equation that relates the electric potential difference and the change in electric potential energy per unit charge. So this is where we have the change in the change in electric potential energy. True. We're going to have to use this equation, which means we're going to have to use energy, which means, Spencer? We're going to have to use conservation energy. Conservation of mechanical energy. This electron is not experiencing friction. In other words, we have conservation of mechanical energy. We have mechanical energy initial equals mechanical energy final. Initially, the electron is at rest. And finally, the electron is moving at whatever tangential final velocity we figured out. There are four different types of mechanical energy. Aaron, give me all four. Which Aaron? I'm sorry, you are Aaron Dunn. She's Warwick. Oh. I guess I'll just, uh, that's what I've tried to stick with. What was the question? Uh, there are four types of mechanical energy. We're going we're to start listing them and telling which ones exist and which ones don't. I just need to start with okay. the four types. Um, kinetic energy? Kinetic energy? Um, potential energy, electric potential energy? Electric potential energy? Elastic potential energy yeah. in the spring? True. She's missing one, Spiro? Um, gravitational potential. Gravitational potential energy. Okay. There are uh, at least two that I can think of right now that don't exist at all in this problem. Give me one of the two, Chandler. There's no such thing as kinetic potential, potential energy. Gravitational potential energy because? Because there's no, like, um, gravity. It's not. <laughs> uh, I don't like there's no gravity. I, unfortunately, I'm going to. Uh, it's not negligible. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. It's not that there's no gravity, it's that it's negligible. Good. There's another one that we can uh, ignore in this particular case, Tank? Because there's no spring. So, we have mechanical energy initially, it was mechanical energy final. What sort of mechanical energy shoe does the charge start with? Um, potential energy electric. Electric potential energy. Keep going, shoe, potential energy final. It has no kinetic energy initial because it's at rest. Keep going. And um, kinetic energy final? It has one other one final. And electric energy final? The electric potential energy final. Now notice, what we're trying to get to is the change in electric potential energy because we're trying to find the electric potential difference. So we're going to solve this. The say change in electric potential energy equals the charge times the electric potential difference. So we're going to rearrange this equation so we can get it, so we can substitute out the change in electric potential energy and substitute in charge times electric potential difference. 
So we need final minus initial. So let's, uh, we'll do this in a couple steps. We'll bring kinetic energy over to this side, which will make it negative kinetic energy final. And we'll bring electric potential energy initial over to the other side, so we'll get uh, electric potential energy final minus the electric potential energy initial. On the right hand side, final minus initial is the change in electric potential energy. That's equal to negative kinetic energy final. So we now have, on the right hand side, charge times electric potential difference. On the left hand side, negative one half mass times velocity uh, final squared. Notice, some of you have gotten into the very bad habit of dropping the delta in front of the delta V for electric potential difference. Would you see how that would be an issue in this particular problem? You would have velocity and electric potential difference. So please make sure you keep that delta. So we have then, uh, we're solving for the electric potential difference. So the electric potential difference equals uh, mass times velocity final squared, the negative of divided by 2 cubed. Please give me all of these numbers. Uh, Connor. Uh, got the mass of the um, electron, which is 1.6 uh, times 10 to the negative 0.7. And then velocity final will be uh, 8.3 times 10 to the 6th. No. Eight point two five four. You round in the middle of a problem. Eight point two five four. Give me more. Six six five times ten to the sixth. Squared divided by two times the charge, which is uh, nine point one one times ten to the thirty negative thirty first. Bob. The mass and the charge are should be switched because kind of yeah kind of you kind of combine the mass of a proton here which is one point six seven times ten to the negative twenty seven is the mass of the electron and then you use the mass of the electron for the charge so let's try again Bob give me the the correct information here what's the mass of our electron nine point one one times ten to the negative thirty one and the charge on our electron one point six times ten to the negative nine negative 9, 11, 10, 19. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we get the right numbers on the board. Although we're still not right, we did miss one small piece. I put the square on there, Matt. Negative? Hold up. I'm confused. We did not use the negative right here. And you're saying we should use the negative here? Yeah, because when you have the velocity, you already uh, <coughs> use it by the velocity, so you have it accounted for when you use velocity. This right here has nothing to do with direction. We have yet to use direction in conservation of mechanical energy. So we do actually use the charge, the, the, magnet, the, the, the positive and negative for the charge when we talk about conservation of mechanical energy. The electric potential difference in order to do this was? 193.9846227. With sig figs, 194, 194 dimensions, go chart. Um. Volts. Notice, chapter 21 is about magnetism. Do we get to review anything in order to talk about magnetism? Oh yeah, look at the fun stuff we got to do. We even got to include angular stuff in here. That omega, that Greek letter. 